It's a recognition they weren't given in their lifetime. These 10 nuns are now blessed, killed by Soviet soldiers in Poland during the last months of World War II. The Soviets were brutal, many times more brutal than the Nazis. And it's a great gift to the church to have the witness of these women finally recognized. This summer, the group of sisters of St. Elizabeth were cleared for beatification. Monsignor Thomas Mahalski said the women showed immense bravery. They died protecting each other and children as they faced rape and brutal torture. It shows the depth of their faith, that there was nothing that was going to shake their faith in the Lord, that even if it meant their life. There aren't many pictures of the women because sadly, their story isn't uncommon. In 1945, as the Nazi party was moving out, the Soviet army was moving in and more than 100 nuns were killed by Soviet soldiers. Monsignor Mahalski says a communist regime was part of everyday life when he lived in Poland, more than 40 years later. Be it a priest or a consecrated religious in Poland, the authorities made that very difficult for you. But the sisters' courage and faith can still resonate among Catholics today. Ask their intercession. I mean, we never know when God's going to use through their intercession uh, that occasion to work a miracle in someone's lives. Monsignor Mahalski says, like a miracle, a moment of bravery can happen when you least expect it. In Bayside, Jessica Easthope, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.